More. There's someone at the gate. More Lueni, more Lueni. And welcome to another Mathia Madrela video. I was actually thinking, guys, but I should be documenting this time. Because if you are watching this video right now, that means things are going okay. And you already know, you already know by your girl is going to australia if you are not watching this video then that means i did not go to australia therefore this is not posted but <laughs> i'll do another video of like probably how things went but right now i thought if i'm gonna post about this it also is important that i post about today because today is mainly admin as i'm preparing to leave okay so I have a viewing at my flat, my apartment. I'm going to miss this place so much. I worked so hard on getting my place to look like this, like the aesthetic and everything. Like, I really did work hard on this. So, I'm selling some of my stuff. One, number two, I need to make sure this place gets, like, a new renter in. Uh, not because my landlord is not going to put it out. My landlord has put it out and people are coming to view. But he's such a nice guy and such a good landlord that I also wanted to help him out. So whenever they have viewings, I am available or I leave work halfway or I leave my key for the agent to, you know, open up for people. Um, last week was the first viewing and it was horrible because I woke up late. It's a Saturday in Funula and Funula Alexa. But I woke up late and the viewing was still 12. Uh, I woke up and I cleaned the house, started getting ready. However, what a girl was like 18 and has like five clients and I hadn't mopped. And if you don't see, can't see. My, my floor is white. So if kum daga, panza kum daga, the whole house basically. So I literally took a broom and I did what I told myself I would never do. I took a broom, took Eva Slap and Dala and kind of like mopped around you just like you just wet them anyway i don't want to talk about that but that's what i did so now i'm planning to there's another viewing and i'm more than prepared so what i've decided to do today is we am seven yesterday which was friday and i started cleaning the house and i mopped i don't know if you can see the mop and there there is the mop started cleaning and i mopped and i made sure everything is right so like this morning i just wake up and i do a few dishes that i have but again it's a saturday i like sleeping in i didn't wake, not wake up on time to wash my dishes it's not a lot though but yes this is what's happening today number two i have a dent in my car it's another story for another day Ben and then i hit something while listening to a sermon by the way um so i need to actually go find out how much that dent is because i need to put it on my plant because oh girl and deny you imali like on sit anomaly i mean and deny you imali so i'm just going to get a quote so i know how much to buy it for and i'm coming back to the house and i'm getting nice and ready i'm gonna look cool i'm gonna look cute hide all these blemishes and in zumba Hey guys, I digress. And then I'm meeting up with a friend of mine. Her name is Ubongi. Ubongi Ntole, Rose Ntole on Instagram. I met her while I was on a trip to Bela Bela in Limpopo. Ne? Yes, and I was traveling by myself. She was traveling by herself and we clicked. And so now we're meeting for the first time after that. If you know anything about me, you will know that I like making friends and connections, but also meaningful one, quality friendships, not just in the just I'm sick. So Bongi seems like a really nice person. So uh lash. Uh seems like a really nice person. So I'm gonna be meeting with her in a few minutes that is basically what i'm going to be doing today and i hope that was not a very long intro but please do like and subscribe to the channel costs you absolutely nothing but it does wonders for me and if you find this entertaining watch until the end and then maybe subscribe you know i'll give you the benefit of the doubt if you think this is entertaining oh the gate is calling me okay bye i need to open for visitors Okay, guys, it's been a very long one, but I am good. I am dressed. I am looking good. I am very late. I haven't gone to the auto body shop to get a quote. So I'm delayed, like delayed, delayed. But that's my style. But I wanted to show you before we got there how the dent looks like. 
So I've got this patch. Yo, abandona basil. They even did a thing around it. So there's this, which was when I was parking in the office. And then there's this. This one is the longest one. Probably close to a year, actually. And I'm more worried about this cost. Because of Imvula than this one. This is the recent one. So I just need to get a quote for this. And then we're good to go for lunch. Late lunch. Whatever you want to call it. Did this thing not fall from the truck and almost hit my car? Almost. I'm poor. Anyway, we here. I caught wrong. I'm a sit discount. I want to buy like mellow buff money discount. And I was here. I want to mind. You are driver, ma. Yes, a girl. <laughs> you look so pretty. Yo, Asibashle. Hey, is this you? This is I. Yeah. <laughs> It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Okay, I am at Cresta Mall and Kosho, which me this is now. Out of the other days. Um, but yeah, I'm at Cresta Mall to get my international driving permit so I can drive when I get to Australia. It's try time. Try, try, try. Is this yeah, I'm bound. I'm exhausted as you can tell from my voice, but this is almost the last of my things. It's me like actually. Guys. And yes, I genuinely do not know what day it is now, how many days are left until I leave for Sydney. But I'm in Eastern Cape, I'm in King Williamstown. Uh, I'm attending two family funerals. I, I know funerals are unplanned, but yay, this, these two were definitely unplanned and unexpected. Let's just say that. Um, yeah, it is a Tuesday, funerals tomorrow, Wednesday, and I'm going back to Joburg on Thursday. And I'm taking a bus because girl be broke. Girl be broke. Yes, that's what's going on. Um, the date is. Mazip, you don't date number 10. 12. My grand. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Date is the twelfth April. Probably leaving first week of May. It's a load. It's a load. It's been a load. It's not excitement anymore, it's just a lot. It's overwhelming. I'm exhausted. I am hella exhausted. My car was supposed to be ready on Easter Sunday. But it wasn't. Then I was told it's going to be ready today. Which is... Today's what Wednesday after Easter Sunday. It's told to be here at 11. Got here half past 11. Now the time is almost half past 3. We are not done. I think they are washing it now. Not happy. I'm not impressed. 
what should have happened was me being told before 11 o'clock that the car is not ready. I had to stay because where I live right now is very far. I'm in Boxburg and this is Honeydew. I don't have money for Uber to be doing up and downs. Truth of the matter is I really wanted them to do good and wanted to vouch for them but I can't. I'm annoyed. I hope at least I hope at least every single thing that was supposed to be fixed is fixed. I'm very irritated right now. I've been working on my phone. I found a small Dodge cafe and I had a salad and I've just been working on my phone from the meetings and stuff. I'm just annoyed because now I'm going to be stuck in traffic going back to the office to pick up my laptop and things and then I have to drive to Boxburg. Hey, part of the journey, right? I'm trying to be positive, but I just feel tired. I am Shemta say, yo, I'm Shemta say. Kasavana. Kasavana, baby. Yes. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's your last, 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 last day. You're going to make me cry. Oh my gosh. This girl is so beautiful. I'm in Dubai, as you can tell, energy levels are low, but I'm excited. We're already seeing some cute stuff like 
baby strollers. That's cute. I don't know if you could get that at the airport. Uh, I am here for four hours and I need to be by boarding four to five minutes before. So let's say I'm in Dubai for three hours. I have no idea what to do. Airport looks huge and humongous, but I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my best. Oh. Uh, and then my flight to then Australia to Sydney is 13 and a half hours so 14 hours in total so Andy Koshoba so there's connections and then there's arrivals I'm worried that hmm I'm sure because I'm thinking if I go to connections I won't get to go outside and see the rest of the mall but if I do arrivals then they are home okay let's do connections and be safe and check it out first and then we'll take it from there <laughs> yay okay some things are just not necessary does this have to be a Rolex watch like does it have to be a Rolex watch? Okay, so this is where you check in your connections. I am going to Sydney. So, where is Sydney? Base Sydney. A17. Gate A17. Cool. Let's go. I don't know how far A17 is, but I really do want to see the inside of the mall. I hope I don't get stuck on this side of life. I, I have a connection, but am I allowed to leave the airport? Can I leave the airport? How long do you have a stay? Five hours? They are allowed more than eight hours. More than eight hours they are allowed. It has to be more than eight hours. Before three hours, you again come to the departure side. So you need more than eight hours. And which passport you are holding now? South Africa. South Africa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Alright, thank you. Okay, so it has to be more than eight hours layover, then you can actually leave. I'm pretty sure I can leave because I don't need a visa. Dubai you get visa on arrival, so pretty sure I can leave. But uh, if I said I'm leaving, I would leave. It's like my own risk situation. But let's not do that. Let's not do that. It's annoying. How cool are these lifts? These elevators? They are amazing. Uh, so they censored. Let me show you. This is crazy. It looks like I need to get on a train. Like this effort is ridiculous. It's huge. Like it's ridiculous. <coughs> Look, I thought I was just going to my boarding gate, cheeky cheeky. This is a train platform. Okay, Dubai. Okay. Yep, the train is here. I have to get on a train. Where the hell do I get off? Someone? Is someone going to turn me? and cute I don't know if you saw the fit this is the fit just comfortable nothing hectic yo let's shower and go uh, so shower done brush teeth I'm clean 
and I'm at, I'm at McDonald's. Yo, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm having a McFlurry that has Kit Kat instead of Oreo. I don't know if we have Kit Kat McFlurries, but that's what I'm having. And it tastes really nice. Um, it's just that the chocolate doesn't melt. You see, the McFlurry, the cookies become softer and it's nice and all of them. But chocolate in water doesn't melt. And like cold, icy stuff doesn't melt. So if it was melted, I think it would be nice. Like chocolate sauce. And there's it. But it's nice either way. And I really enjoyed it. Uh, now um, it is 8 35. 8.35 and my flight leaves at 10 past 10. So I have like an hour, more than an hour before boarding. So I try tiring myself out. Like I take walk, I walk a lot in the airport so that by the time I get on the plane, I'm just like sleeping and passing out. Um, the other thing is on the first flight, I ate on the plane, even though I ate in Cape Town. I had like spinach and chicken curry and airplane food doesn't sit well with me. This is like the second time now going to Bali, the same thing happened. Even now I just get nauseous, I just get hot. So after the food, I actually I'm not sure if it's the food or the water. I don't know what it is, but water is bottled. I don't know. Oh my gosh. So I was just not feeling great on the plane, and I haven't been sleeping well either way. And before that, I had woken up very early in the morning at 5 a.m. So. I'm sleepy, I'm tired, but I want a bed. And the fact that I have another 14 hours is try actually like mentally I think it's just draining right now. But yeah, it is what it is. I say no brothers, yeah, if you cherish. I don't have fee. I can't I can't I can't pay for you. Oh, let me go to Los Angeles. They're calling people for here for Los Angeles. Kuala Lumpur, Munich, Los Angeles. Auckland, final call. Call Lampur, Auckland, Munich, Los Angeles, final call. So I just took off my clothes on the plane um, and I stood for a bit because I was just drowning in my exhaustion. I'm also hoping our plane is not that full. And if it's not that full, I can ask a favor. I just heard people speaking Swan. That was cool. No. Okay. I'll see you in Sydney now. I do think I should wrap this vlog here. Like, do you guys want to see me in Sydney? Like, on a plane? I think I should wrap this vlog here. If you have gotten this far, thank you so much for watching. We have gotten this far. You are a D1 and go see. Thank you. Um, please do not forget to like and subscribe because more content is coming up. I said more content is coming up. Like I just get excited thinking of the content I'm going to do. And I have also opened a TikTok account. Oh, learning how to edit on TikTok. But anyway, uh, please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It costs you absolutely nothing, but it does wonders for me. It helps me get this content to as many people as possible. Honestly, liking, just liking, makes a huge difference. So please do like, especially since you got to the end of this video. That means something is fun or entertaining or educational. Okay, thank you so much. Bye.